uh, sorry, GTK Builder uh, .ui file. We made the main window visible by default. Um, you can do it either way. You can either show it in the code, show it in here, or do both. It really doesn't matter. Um, we'll get rid of that extra line because again, it's not necessarily. And the GTK .main loop um, just literally does what it says on the tin. It loops and handles all of the GTK stuff. So that means that it'll just loop until it gets signals. If it gets signals, it'll run the relevant functions, and it will just keep on going till it ends, until something quits. So that sure makes sense. Let's hope this works. So we've got arrow.py file which I saved there. So let's first of all change into the right directory again. Um, okay. So this time we'll do. Uh, Uh, okay, so I've made that executable just like I did with the um, CLI version, and then I'll do slash adder.py and let's see what happens. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. This looks pretty similar. So, let's type in a number and see what happens. Would you look at that? We get a result, uh, and this will work like so. Uh, let's put in something wrong. We get an error. We get an invalid input. Uh, interestingly, we haven't got an image showing up. Now I seem to remember removing something that made that show. Interestingly, I didn't think we'd need it. Uh, let's go back and add that in again. Oh, here we are. This is why uh, I hide it there. So uh, if we remove that line, again, I don't know why there's some extra lines. So uh, we can quit, the quit button works, always a good sign uh, and let's try running it again with the newly updated code uh, add the two numbers again, put in some random stuff there we go, we've got an error this time, we've got the warning symbol there nice visual indicator for the user um, then go back and it disappears again uh, annoyingly that's uh, flipped over to the other side which again uh, we don't want so um, <coughs> that's uh, if we uh, change the H button box to uh, say to end, which is the layout style, that means it will always default to the right hand side of the uh, H box it's contained in, which will mean that in that situation, if we show again. Uh, okay, hasn't done what I thought. Um, oh, sorry, that's um internally. So that's yeah, sorry. Uh, I need to change it there to packing type end. There we go. Okay, let's try it again there. No, it hasn't worked either. Um, yeah, as you can see everyone comes across uh, things, there we go, I think that's what I was looking for <clears throat> I'm looking at the uh, wrong things all the time, there we go so now you can see it's put towards the right hand side you can see everything is trial and error sorry about that, lost my microphone um, everything is trial and error with uh, software programming you're always going to make small mistakes and so on uh, finding the solutions shouldn't be too hard uh, there we go, we've got an error, and then put some numbers in again, and there we go. Everything is as it should be, and that closes as well. As you can see, that works. So uh, there you go. We have a working uh, GTK builder based uh, application. I'll uh, post links to the tutorial, text based, uh, the code um, for the new version as well as the old one. Um, so you can access all of that, I don't know where, I'll, I'll make sure that's um, available so look around where you are now um, and I hope that's been useful uh, I hope that's cleared up a few of the uh, things you didn't quite get from the text tutorial if you've read that or it's been useful if you've come across it for now um, so yeah, thank you for watching um, and enjoy programming